This is Ian from Lean Media, and I'm going to do a comparison of two product inserts, both for kind of iPhone accessories. I purchased them. I'm not getting paid to do this or anything like that. I just wanted to share my opinions as an experienced Amazon seller, the right way and the wrong way to do a product insert card. So uh, let's get started with the right way to do it. This is a product insert actually for this iPhone 8 case, a hard case that I purchased. Inside was a very simple card. Um, it's, it says thank you. It includes the, the uh, brand name, which is the right thing to do. Importantly, you can see it's a white background with dark text, and the text is relatively easy to read. It's not too small. So it's basically a thank you message here. You know, it's highly competitive, our commitment to you, et cetera, et cetera. You know, if there's any problem, please feel free to contact us via Amazon. So, you, so if you're a customer, you can contact the, uh, the, the, the seller and basically they'll try to resolve the particular issue. It does not say anything about asking for a five-star review or a good review or a positive review, which is against Amazon's terms of service. So this company, they did it right. I'm particularly impressed because it's a really cheap product. It's like a $9 hard case. It's a high quality case. They actually include like a warranty in it. But anyways, they did, they did this right with this product insert. I was very, you know, I think this is a model that other Amazon sellers should use. So kind of to, to recap, uh, white background, dark text, easy text to read, nothing on it that says they're asking for a five-star review or a good review. That's against Amazon seller terms of service. So don't do that. But this company did it the right way. They did not ask for any positive review. So they're doing it right. And let's take a look to uh, look at someone who's not doing it right. This is actually the insert that came with the stand I'm using right now. You can see it down here. It's a good stand, but this insert leaves a lot to, to be desired. So there's a couple things here. First of all, there's a lot of information on here. So what they tried to do is they tried to include in instructions and kind of uh, customer service and also kind of asking for a review on a single piece of paper. They also, it wasn't copy edited properly or proof, proofread uh, properly, like it says, assemble instructions. So if you're preparing something for a foreign market, like don't use Google Translate or some uh, you know very simple translation tool. Actually have someone who's a native speaker hopefully read over what the text says just to make sure it, it makes sense and make some simple edits. It doesn't take a lot of time to do that. And if you're looking for someone with expertise, of course there's online platforms you can use to find someone who can help you out. Uh, the other thing that's uh, not good with this is it's kind of a, a kind of a darkish kind of like a blue t a, a blue blue background different shades but then they're using like dark text on a blue background and even worse on this side like the text is nearly impossible to read and it's too long so what I would do I was I would completely redo this and maybe actually split it up into two separate cards or something one with instructions another one with customer support um, and definitely not have tiny text on dark text on a blue background where you need a magnifying glass to read it. So the, the one other thing I wanted to bring up about this particular insert is the uh, they're asking for something. They're asking, you know, please take some time to leave us good feedback. You cannot do that on Amazon these days. It's possible that this is an older insert from an old piece because it's an, you know, it's from a something that might have been manufactured three years ago before Amazon really cracked down on that type of thing. But do not create an insert that asks for a positive review or a five-star review. That is against Amazon's terms of service. You can ask for a review or a feedback, but do not put any sort of kind of uh, adjective in front of it that says that it has to be good or five-star. Um, the other thing that I see some companies saying is like, if you have a problem, contact us, but otherwise leave a review. Amazon doesn't look kindly upon that either. So look on Amazon's um, seller terms of service and program policies just to see what the latest is. But uh, this, if I were the if I were the owner of this company or the owner of this brand, I would be seriously redoing this. I mean, some things are helpful, like the instructions. Uh, other things are just, it's hard to read or it's its breaking Amazon's terms of service. So anyways, there's lots of examples like this. This is a good one. This is it. Both of them are, by the way, these manufacturers are from, these brands are from China. Uh, and the quality is very good for each of the products. But the way that they're doing the inserts, like, you know, it's kind of a tale of two cities. This is, a, this is the one that I, I really admire. This is the one that has problems. And if I were advising them, I would say completely redo this ASAP, especially asking for a good review. That is a big no-no on Amazon.